Welcome this evening to another edition here with a review of yet another film that goes on to the OTT platform directly from the labs. This film is contemporary in the sense that it is shockingly similar to what Anurag Kashyap made the other day, you remember the film Choked. The theme, the story, probably even substantially the treatment are almost on parallel lines. The major difference being that while in Choked, the protagonist who finds the money is a lady and the backdrop is political demonetization. In root case, the protagonist is the husband who finds the money. And uh, it's not politics, but the crime world of the underbelly, connected, of course, with the politician. That is the base of the source of the money. <coughs> very, very, very disappointing movie coming from Rajesh Krishnan who tries to do an Anurag Kashyap. If you recall, I know I'm asking for too much. I didn't think Anurag Kashyap had done a great job with uh, Choked Paisa Bolta Hai. Rajesh does even worse. The bard said some rush where others fear to tread. And uh, somewhere suggestively, I think that is what Rajesh tries to do with Loot Case. It's about a lower middle class family fighting hard to make both, end meet, both ends meet. They live in a chawl, so they have stereotype people living around. They fit into the larger piece because they have little roles to perform in the narrative that goes on. But unlike in Choked, they are more natural here. And uh, they play more uh, important roles in the narrative and are not just props to the story. On the other hand, you have this entire parallel story about guys trying to retrace the lawsuit case with huge amounts of money, which accidentally the hero of the film, <coughs> namely uh, Nandan Kumar, who works in a press finds his wife Lata Kumar played by Rasika Guddugal and his little son Ayush Kumar Aryan Prajapati are obviously and blissfully unaware that the father has found tons of money. The family of course while uh, the son's ambition is to go to this ocean park the wife's all long uh, promise over the last 15, 20 years is that they'll have a holiday in Shimla. Not, not happening. So it is this kind of a family backdrop and huge sums of money coming. So the first challenge is to find out whose money it is and when he doesn't, the next challenge is how do you hide the money and start spending it. Very, very ordinary narrative. Nothing imaginative in the story. Come on, you're telling us you're hiding 2,000 rupee notes in dal boxes in your kitchen, in your pantry, you're putting up with the water, you're putting in the bathroom. Putting money in the bathroom is as old as the income tax rate in Malasina's house 40 years ago. Come on, you don't need to grow up in telling us these stories. Very disappointing film. In fact, you ask yourself, why is he making this kind of a film? Hasn't he heard of uh, Chuk? And this is embarrassingly badly made. It takes about one and a half hours, 132 minutes. So you would hope there's something in the movie and actually you end up seeing nothing. Among the performances, as the tainted politician, you have Gajraj Rao, I think, is over the top. I would have liked him to do, be a little more restrained. Uh, Ranveer as the police officer, looks lost, actually looks embarrassingly lost in this kind of a film, and justifiably so. Some such outings, 
will be a terrible blow to his repute as an actor. Uh, Vijay Raz, as that semi-comical villain, is the saving grace. He does his job well, yet another good, authentic outing for an actor. He does his job clear, clean, and nothing more. I, my heart, uh, Rasika Duggal, very theatric. From the scenes of seduction to her mock anger, everything looks a communication to the camera than anything more. My heart goes out to Kunal Kine. Talent is there. He has a great sense of timing. He can move effortlessly from a serious note to a sense of timing with his comic moments. But he's wrapped up in this utter nonsense. He is suffocated in this loot case or in the suitcase and is barely able to breathe out his real talent. This boy has talent. Unfortunately, these are the kind of opportunities that come where he almost can't even say no and does them up. But what he does for himself is he pushes his cause and shows that as an actor, there is only that much you can do outside of a script. And he does that and delivers. In case you're one of those who doesn't mind watching an odd film where there's a pleasant performance here or there and nothing more, or you have so little to watch that you don't mind watching something which is latest and you want to watch that, then loot case. Otherwise, the color of the loot case is the signal. It's red. Thank you.